morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Aaron Space. My name is Aaron, and this is indeed, and in fact, my little space on the internet. Thank you so much for being here and for finding it. We have a mega, potential mega vlog coming up because we're not at Disney, we're not at Universal. We're at WonderCon 2024. If you've watched any of these videos on this channel, you know that I love a pop culture convention. This one goes all weekend, Friday through Sunday, down at the Anaheim Convention Center. I'm booked and busy. I got a hotel room, I'm checked in, I've got my pass for all three days, and I'm gonna vlog it. So I'm super excited to be here. Thank you so much for finding this video and watching it. If you're enjoying these videos, think about giving a little bit of a thumbs up. Helps this little channel grow. And we're almost at 500 subscribers and I have something so cool planned when that happens. So be number 500, you know you want to. And if you're really enjoying these videos, why don't you go ahead and do 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 subscribe it's free it's fun it's easy and you'll get notifications every time i drop these little hopefully fun and entertaining uh sometimes informative vlogs but anyway thank you for being here you don't have to do either of those things if you don't want to i've also had a lot of caffeine but you need that for the convention going ways so let's pop in it's friday it's day one it's noon the doors just open let's go see what we can get up to at wondercon 2024 also this shirt this shirt is fire, and I've already gotten multiple compliments and questions about where to get it. I got it from Nicole herself, so I'm going to know what to tell you. Hi! This gets us in? Yes, you're good. Enjoy. This gets us in. Thank Have you. Fun. Thank you so much. off, Nicole's on full display, and we are in WonderCon 2024! Now it's just a matter of deciding which end we want to start meandering around through. Because it goes. This one goes. This isn't like the kind we go to in Long Beach. This one goes and goes and goes and goes. This guy. This guy. This guy puts out ridiculously cool stuff, which I have a couple of. Yeah, look at this. Look at the artwork. I have a couple. I, I have a Kill Bill and a Pulp Fiction one in this style. If I had space, I would put up the giant Godzilla one. But yeah, he's awesome. Just scope. Justin Orr. Oh, look who's behind us. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh man, I love conventioning. I had to get I had to get Darth Vader eating sushi. <laughs> he's like, look at him. He's so happy with his sushi plate. And it was a cool booth. This guy. A Kane's Chibi Art. There you go, look them up. They had really, really cool stuff, including Darth Vader eating sushi. Yeah, it's the freaking cats as the X-Men, y'all. Look at how cool that is, cats as X-Men. the spider bots. Oh my God, I love them all. I love them all, but I really love cats as X-Men. Con, you are too cute. Fan fave for mine up here. Super emo friends, I love super emo friends. They're so cute, but also sad and emo. <laughs> has wares if you have coin. I did have coin and now I have wares. Thank you. <laughs> Figment. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I want everything. Did you see this guy? <gasps> Look at this one. Look at Utini. I think I have Utini. He's holding a board. <laughs> oh my God, I can't. Look, it's from uh... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean, yeah. Mass Effect. Yeah. I romanced her. I romanced him. I romanced her. I romanced him. <laughs> I romanced that whole front row. Oh my god, he's just like making his way down Artist Alley. That is so good. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. Hi, five. Woo. Hi. 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 Hello. Hello. Dance. 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 <laughs> I love conventioning. <laughs> Pacifier, Monk, Warlock, Ranger. How cute is that? Super. Stay Puff Marshmallow guy, but Jaws. Does that have to come home with me too? I wanted everything at this booth, but I got, I stuck with the, getting the Jaws print. And I got an Easter egg. Huzzah, I'll have to open it up because after all it is Easter weekend. I did, I'm getting ready for the Renaissance Fair. Yeah, Spoiler nice. alert for videos coming up. But yeah, I've amended my rule to I can't buy large art. I'm okay buying tiny art because come on, we're at, we're in 
Artist Alley, first day of the con. How can I not buy artwork? I, I, it's not gonna happen. So I'm buying tiny art. I keep seeing my cat everywhere. My gray baby. Tizzle Taz, you keep showing up. Who is Alan Grant and Nedry? Fantastic. Fantastic spotting. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We just got to see Ashley Eckstein, or I got to see Ashley Eckstein. Well, you did too, I filmed a little of it. She was talking all about how she got the role of Ahsoka, how she started her universe. Cool, cool, cool panel. And I had no idea she was married to a baseball player that apparently was an MVP of a World Series. For the Cardinals, I think she said, I don't know. He was there too, like, like moderating the panel. It was really just her talking. Super inspirational. And then she did a really cool thing at the end too, where she was like having people stand up and hype themselves up, and then she gave them stuff, so. Very cool panel for number one day panel of day one of WonderCon. And it was up here on the second floor. Everybody's still just chilling out. Cool panel though. Oh, and I wanted to show you, if you download the WonderCon Comic-Con app, so you can highlight everything that you want to go to and then it shows up here on its own page. So we did the Ashley Eckstein one and I got a couple other ones up here, including a Buffy panel. I can't believe in the year 2024 I'm going to go into a Buffy panel and Firefly, nope. And then also a Dune one here I want to go to. But yeah, you go through the whole schedule, click out your highlights and then you can walk around and go to the ones you want to go to. If you can see, I can't tell. I guess I have to start wearing my glasses when I film things. All right, let's go see what's happening with cosplay. Look at this guy as a scarred up, uh, what's his face? Wayne, Wade, Wade Wilson, right? That's great. That's awesome. <laughs> oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> He's waving back, yes. <laughs> you look amazing. <laughs> you got the smolder down and everything. <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> You're okay. We're all okay, Kylo. We're all okay. We're all good. Good job. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, that was scary. Turkey burger, cheese sauce, pretzel, soda, water. Done. Consider it done. Actually, turkey burger looks pretty good too. Con food for the win. Oh, no way. <laughs> Dinosaur man! Dinosaurs everywhere and I love it! So let's just say I just spent enough money at a booth to get a free tote bag, a free pen, and free stickers. We're not going to go into how much money I spent. All I will tell you is that the booth 
was Japanese themed and it had blind boxes. So I bought some blind boxes and then I got a free tote bag, a free pen, and free stickers. I'll open them on camera later. Make sure you stop, keep watching. I almost said stop. Make sure you keep watching. And should like a subscribe. Share it, like it, subscribe. Free tote bags. Dang! Your girl is doing some shopperoony, shopperoonerific shopping this afternoon. We just saw the coolest booth where I picked up this amber mosquito and amber paperweight. It's amazing. It's so cool. I love it. I picked up this Miss Minutes kitchen timer. Shut the front door. These were so cute, so cheap. This Miss Minutes was 20 bucks. The amber one was only $10. $10. Oh man, what a day. What a day. They're so tiny. What is up top there? That's all Stranger Things. Oh yeah, I see the bad guy. They're so teeny, 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 tiny, teenies. Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, I love a teeny, tiny action figure. But I have so many. The only one really calling to me, point to my boo, Carly. Where's my boo? My boo. But I just bought a really cool, oh my God, not E.T. Oh no, and right next to him is Doc Brown and Marty McFly. Indiana Jones and oh my Indiana Jones God. Jr. and Sala. It's India. It's Professor Henry Jones and the Nazi spy. Yeah. Dude, that run right there is pretty good. Right? Indy, yeah. Professor, and Sala. I gotta look away. I gotta step away. He's too cute. I love a giant artwork, but I just do not have space in my house for giant artwork. That's really cool artwork. Okay, we are getting ready to go to our next panel, which is gonna be about Dune. It's at 5.30, and I'm super duper excited. Let's go. It's a cool view from up here, huh? We're on the third floor, heading into our Dune panel. You can see all the way down. WonderCon, you can see all the way outdoors. Yeah, we are headed to Dune. 40 years of David Lynch's Dune. David Lynch? Is that what it is? Is it really about David Lynch's Dune? Oh my god, it is David Lynch's Dune. Oh, I just got like extra excited for this panel. Just checking out the view. So it's 40 years of David Lynch's Dune. Dude, David Lynch's Dune was unhinged and unwild. And I cannot wait to sit in a panel. I thought it was just going to be about Dune, but it's not. It's David Lynch's Dune. Let's go. And like, uh, yeah, so I, I, think, I think the biggest problem with Dune as a property is there's so many ideas. There's like so many ideas and like there are still ideas that have never been adapted. You've never <clears> seen anything about the Butlerian Jihad in any of these movies. You know, it's like, uh, you know, that that's the whole reason why there's no computers or anything like that. And like, uh, yeah, so it's, it's you know, and, and also you can approach it from so many different angles. Like you could approach it. Um, I think the way Ridley Scott wanted to do it was, more about as a story of like indigenous people, you know, like he wanted to do something that kind of paralleled the experience of, um, uh, you know, Native Americans. And, oh, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, there's a. I talked to Dave Page, who's sort of the ringleader of Toto, and I talked to Steve Lukather, there, um, who's. But the, they did the score to yeah. do yeah. for. Yeah, it's, 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 right. to, it's Toto's only score. I also think it's it's fitting. That it was Toto because David Lynch's favorite movie is The Wizard of Oz. Um, and uh, not the same Toto, but they didn't film in the sands of Africa. No. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, and, I, uh, and I, I even talked to the guy who was the uh, music um, editor um, in, in during the uh, final phases of production, and he had worked with Toto prior on their albums, and he, you know, and, and the big thing about their score is it's so like big and operatic and Wagnerian and it's, it's it's a super powerful score and then of course it got a little bit overshadowed because Brian Eno also did this one little whatever it's the prophecy theme prophecy theme it's like this little three minute thing Oh my goodness gracious, that is a wrap on day one of Comic-Con, of Comic-Con. I didn't know this is the first time I called it Comic-Con today. That is a wrap on day one of WonderCon 2024. This day flew by. I felt like we spent a decent amount of time out on the floor doing some shopping. I'm going to do a separate uh, haul video or I'll just, no, it might just be one long mega video. Either way, I'll show you what I bought at a later date. 
And then we got to talk to some artists out on the floor, which is always my favorite thing to do. And then I saw such great panels. I really paneled it up the whole afternoon. I saw some really cool TV ones where they were talking about like Firefly and Angel. That was awesome. Those are some of my favorite shows back in the day. So to hear people talking about them in the year 2024 was cool. Um, I saw this really interesting, funny one about Godzilla, like as if Godzilla were a real thing and like how laws and insurance would apply to things that Godzilla did. So that one cracked me up. I loved it. And they saw a great one with a bunch of writers talking about how to create compelling, psychologically complex um, characters. And that was great. And one of the women on that panel we ran into afterwards outside when we were grabbing some food before we came back to bonus I'm in a hotel and I love it. I love a hotel. She was on the panel and she's like best friends with Felicia Day. And I stopped her as I was eating my sandwich out in the like food truck area. And I said, excuse me, I just was at your panel. It was so cool. I loved it. But do you happen to do a podcast with Felicia Day about books? And she said, why, yes, I do. And I knew all about her. And we we're talking about Felicia Day. And we we're talking about this other podcast Felicia Day does with Tom Lank, who is an actor on Buffy, who I love. Their podcast cracks me up. But anyway, it was such a cool, freaking stinking way to end the day at WonderCon day one, 2024. So now we're at the Hilton or the Hampton Inn, part of the Hilton family for a nice night's sleep, get a good shower. They have a continental breakfast from 6.30 to 9.30, which I will be partaking in. And then we'll head back over to the convention center for day two of WonderCon 2024. Also, this shirt could not have been more of a hit today. People wanted to know where I got it. One person was like, is your name Nicole? And I was like, no, just the queen icon legend is. So it was a big hit. I gotta go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow.